So I was 11 years old the first time that I ever walked around a shopping mall by myself, like without a grown up. I went with a grown up, I went with my dad. But like the second we walked in, he goes, uh, all right, I'm going to JCPenney. If you want to walk around, hit a few shops, why don't we meet back at this bench in 45 minutes? I was like, wait, by myself? And he goes, yeah, here's 10 bucks. I was like, what, $10 to walk around by myself? Oh my God, I'm like King Cock walking through the mall. And I go straight down to KB Toys and I'm about to go in and I go, no, like that's what little kids do. I'm a big kid, so I go back to Spencer Gifts. Yeah. For you young people, that was like a hot topic back then. And uh, I go straight back to like the naked lady stuff in the back. And I found that pen where they have like the, the woman in the bikini and then you flip it upside down and it falls off. And the guy was like, hey, you're not supposed to be in here. And I was like, too late, I already saw a titty, woo. <laughs> I ran out of the store and like I'm getting older by the moment like I'm, I'm growing up and I and I, I went and I uh, did other grown-up stuff like I went and got a massage at the sharper image in that chair you know the one I'm like a young adult at this point and then we got a uh, I made my last stop at Sam Goody yeah and it was like right by the bench where I'm gonna meet my dad that was that was by design I was like it's a circuit you know go around so I'm in there and I'm like flipping through the poster rack. I'm like, eh, Motley Crue, no. Poison, no. Guns N' Roses, maybe, maybe. And as I'm looking around, I see this woman across the store and she's looking at me, like she's clocking me. And she looks younger, I don't know, like she's probably like 22, 35. It's tough to say, I'm 11, I don't know. Uh, but she's, she's attractive, she's dressed professionally, but with like a little edge and she's staring at me. And I'm just thinking like, oh, she's probably like, oh, who's that big boy over there all by himself being all mature and whatnot. But then I looked out at my swatch and I'm like, oh, I gotta go out and like meet my dad at the bench. So I go out and she follows after me and she was like, excuse me, excuse me real quick. And outside she goes, um, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I have to ask you a question. Have you ever considered modeling? <laughs> Me? A model? I could see it. Yeah. No, yeah. I was a good looking kid. I was. I had blonde hair back then, like a super cute face. A little wiry athletic body. I said, so this is good. Plus, I play old, you know, like independent out in the mall by myself, like a Muriel Hemingway kind of thing. I can go both ways. And she's like, uh, she's like, no, seriously, you've got something going here. She's like, you got like a all-American look and I was like oh my god bing again yes I do and I swear at that moment I was like I have never wanted something more in my life that I didn't know existed two minutes ago I want it I was like I want to be a model I don't care who tries to stop me and then from behind I hear what the hell's going on here and I look over and it's my dad and I was like dad we're having a conversation could you not please and then she goes oh are you his father and he goes, yeah, who are you? And she was like, oh, well, my name is Robin. I was just telling your son, I think he could like, have a real career in modeling. And my dad goes, oh, okay. He goes, hey lady, like, I was born at night, but not last night. Let's go, Mike. And he starts to pull me off and she goes, no, 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 I'm serious. She's like, your son has something. I really could see him doing like catalogs. Yeah, but like, I'm thinking TV commercials, maybe even national print. And he goes, lady, <laughs> I can smell a scam like I can smell a fart in the car. He's like, this is not, I don't know what you're doing here. And she's like, this is not a scam, how dare you? And she goes in her purse and she pulls out a card and she goes, my name is Robin Weinstein. I'm a professional modeling scout. And I was like, ooh, dad, who feels dumb now? <laughs> yeah. And my dad looked at me, he's like, what? And he looks at the card and he's like, lady, I don't know what you're selling, but we're not buying. And she goes, I'm not selling anything. She's like, I wanna do a test shoot with your son tomorrow Tyson's Corner Renaissance Hotel at 5.30. There's no financial obligation to you whatsoever. Just come, let me shoot your kid. And I was like, Dad, don't be stupid. This is like my big break, okay? I'm like, I've just been discovered. And my dad looks at me, he goes, don't be stupid. He said, all right, smarty pants. He's like, yeah, we'll, we'll be there tomorrow. And so, uh, so we went home and that night I took my bath and I brushed my teeth and I put on my pajamas, my little NFL pajamas that I had. <laughs> You're like, what team? All of them. All, all 28 logos all over my pajamas. 
And they were like those little kid ones that are like always a little too tight and they got elastic here, elastic here, elastic here, here. A little t- and so now I go, I go out of the bathroom and I go into my room to pick out my two looks. Because she said she wanted a look. And I, I didn't really know what that was because I'm still new to modeling, but I figured it out. So I, uh, the first look I went with um, kind of like an early fall first day of school look. Very, sh- very sharp looking. I, uh, I, I had this Lacoste polo. Um, it was, I wouldn't say it's yellow, it was like more of a golden rod with the, with the alligator pop collar, boom, like paired that with these acid wash black jeans. I was like, ring the bell, school's in, look at this. <laughs> the second look, I go a little more cash, right? I'm gonna go also early fall, but this time, Saturday birthday party. Oh, yeah, so now I get to pull out my Bugle Boy purple shorts that I have. <laughs> And I had this Adidas sweatshirt that had like every color in the rainbow on it, but there was a little bit of purple that I'm pulling out. I'm like, oh, look at that. I'm, I'm looking really good. And I'm holding both the, both the looks up in the mirror. I'm like, you look good in this. You look good in this. I was like, you look good in everything. You look good in your pajamas. Look at you, great. I'm ready. I'm going to be a supermodel. This is ridiculous. Following day, we're going to the shoot. My dad's super pumped that he had to take work off early and drive in traffic to get to Tyson's. Like, he, he loves Route 7 so much. And me, I'm just trying to, like, visualize, like, what's this shoot going to look like? And my greatest, like, point of reference in terms of modeling was, like, I saw an episode of uh, Who's the Boss where Samantha was a model. And I was like, oh, so that made sense. Like, it was creative director who was Robin. She'd be there. And then it's like, photographer, hair and makeup, maybe somebody tweaking the lights or whatever. That's an intimate set. So we get to the Renaissance Hotel. It's not intimate at all. We walk in. They put up this big ass sign for me that says modeling shoot this way and it's pointing to the ballroom. And I'm like, damn. So my dad's leading me and he goes to open the door. I say, wait, dad, hold on for a second. This is all happening so fast. <laughs> and my dad's like, okay, it's good. So we open the doors and the first thing I see is probably 200 kids <laughs> inside the ballroom, mostly girl, all girls. I think it was all girls. They're, they're uh, all these little fifth graders like putting on lipstick and like teasing their bangs and it looked like an episode of Dance Moms. And I'm just sitting there and they make me get into a line, which I mean, I'm who, you know, don't you know who I am? And I'm sitting there and they make me get to the line and after the line they give me a number as if like I'm running a 5K or something. I was like, what is this? And we sit at a banquet table for another half hour. They finally call my number, not even my name. And they lead you off to this other room as off to the side, which is much smaller room than the, the ballroom, they have four photo shoots going on in there. It's like a, a factory, like an assembly line, just little models going through. And I finally, I see Robin, and I was like, Robin, what's up? It's me from the mall yesterday, all-American kid. And she's like, yeah, what's your number? And I was like, ugh. And she's like, is this your first look? And I was like, yeah, it's kind of a first day of school. She's like, okay, go. I was like, all right. So I go up against the backdrop, and I'm like, all right, so, yeah, you know, like this. <laughs> And then like, I tried this like, like, pouty lip thing, which I don't know why. I, like, mm. And then she's like, okay, good, go for look two. And I was like, wait, what? You took like two pictures of me. She's like, come on, hurry up. So they have these like, little pop-up tents in there that you go in there and I put on my second look. I got the birthday party and I like, walk out. I'm like, surprise, birthday, look at this. And she's like, good, get against the backdrop. And now I'm like, I'm going to nail it because I've warmed up, you know. So I'm like, uh. I do the arms cross move, you know, this one. And then I do this one, like the... I'm like, they gotta be feeling this. And then she's like, okay, we're done. And on the letter E of done, she slides over to my dad with a clipboard and she's like, if Mike wants to put his portfolio together, he needs to buy this one, this one, this one. And above all of it, above four photo shoots and the chatter of kids and parents and photographers and music, you just hear my dad go, I ain't buying jack shit. (laughs) And he grabs me by the arm and he's leading me out. And I was like, oh my God. And I'm like, what did I do wrong? I was like, I messed it up. I knew I wanted to try this. I wanted to try that. I wanted to show them this. And we get out into the lobby and I was like, oh, I got it. And I told my dad, I said, dad, I forgot something in the, in the ballroom. I'll be right back. I gotta go back. And I went inside, through the ballroom, went back into the photo shoot room, slid behind the photographers and I went into the dressing room. And I opened my duffel bag and I went with look three. They didn't see this coming. I brought my NFL pajamas with me. <laughs> All-American? You want All-American? I was like, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring this. 
And I come out and I throw the curtain back and I took maybe half a step out and I went, this was a horrible idea. <laughs> I could feel it. I could see every little girl in that place go, hey, are you wearing your pajamas? And I was like, this is like sportswear. It's not even like a pajama. And, and I looked, I could feel like the rug underneath my bare feet. And I was like, oh God, I didn't even bring slippers. And then I see Robin and I'm like, Robin, let's do a third look. And she just looks at me and she goes, we're done. And I was like, uh. And I could feel myself starting to cry. And I was like, no, oh, big boy, I can't. And I try to run out. And I get out in the lobby and there's my dad. And he goes, where the hell are your clothes? And I was like, dad, can we just go please? And he goes, we're not going anywhere until you get your clothes. So I had to go back in and get my clothes. I walk out, I'm just, it's, it's just shameful. And I'm, I'm in the car with him. And I looked at him, I said, dad, how do you know it was a scam? And he said, because I'm a grown-up. He's like, that's what grown-ups do. He's like, don't take it too hard, man. You're just a little kid. And I looked down at my pajamas, and I was like, yeah, he's probably right. <laughs> Thanks.